Today, I'm gonna to be testing the most expensive impact driver from Walmart. Let's have a look at it. All right, so what we have here is the Hart 20 volt brushless. It appears to be really nice. The ergonomics of it are good. It's got a lot of rubber on here. It feels good. This is metal. The chuck feels great. The battery comes on nice, comes on and off real nicely. It has a bit and a bit holder. And this looks like a spot for a belt clip, but they did not include one in the box. They should have for the price. It has a light. Here's what it comes with. It comes with a uh, little bit nicer charger than what HyperTuff would come with, but this is still not that nice. And let me sh show you what a nicer charger looks like. This is what a higher end drill comes with, or impact driver. They come with these larger, better chargers, safer chargers. Let me go ahead and show you guys how, what it looks like against a higher end drill. This one comes in at twice the cost of this guy. It's like $180 impact driver. This one has a five amp hour battery. It's got four different settings compared to this one which has none. Let's go ahead and do a sound comparison here. Heart. Milwaukee just sounds better. It even feels better. A lot smoother. This one, the heart just feels rough. Okay, what I have here is a railroad tie and a log. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sink in some one lag bolt with this guy and we're gonna put it in and then reverse it out and see how it does. The lag bolt stopped right there. Let's go ahead and uh, reverse it out and see if we can get it out. All right, did it okay? It's pretty warm. Let's go ahead and try the Milwaukee. That's really hot. It'll keep going. I don't know if I want to get it going. Yeah. All right. That's as far as I'm going to do it. It'll keep the, it'll keep going until I can't get it out anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse it out and we'll see how it does. Oof, man, it's smoking. <laughs> Milwaukee did, definitely did better. All right, let's go ahead and do the log test. All right, it stopped right there, just like on the railroad tie. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can back that guy out. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the Milwaukee now. Okay. Let's do this guy right there. It'll keep going. It's like it's poking out the bottom right there. And I hear the wood smoking. So 
I hear the moisture in the in the log like sizzling out. It's pretty warm. I'm just gonna leave that guy in there. Actually, the test part of the test is backing them out. So let's back it out. Milwaukee did well. It did pretty good. Okay. Let's go ahead and try a smaller one here. See if the heart does a little better with the smaller guy. This is warm. We will start with the heart. The smaller guy. Stopped right about there. I don't know if it'll get it out or not. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Nope, oh, it's not coming out. It's stuck in there. All right, time for the Milwaukee. Okay, I went and got some gloves. Let me go ahead and put this in the Milwaukee and we will test the smaller guy on it. I, it'll do fine. I, Going in and out, I'm sure. Did did fine with the big one, so we'll just go ahead and throw it in there just for fun. All right, it'll keep going if I. I do so. I'm going to back it out now. Oh yeah, that did. That did good. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair the two up with a bit and we are going to do a stress test on these guys. All right. So I'm going to piece the two together with a this bit that the art came with. So let's go ahead and uh, piece them together real quick. Yeah, that should work. Okay, I'm gonna throw some gloves on here. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens. something happened. I wonder what happened here. Let's see. This guy is not turning on, so must have a safety feature in there. When it gets too warm, it, it shuts off. The Milwaukee was definitely beating it. It was, it was making it go the opposite direction it was supposed to. Um, let's let it cool off here for a second and see if it turns back on. Or disconnecting the battery. There we go. Now it's back on. Maybe you just had to reset the safety feature in there. Okay. Alright, let's shut off again. So I'll just keep undoing the battery until something happens here. Let's find out. Well, it's not a bad thing that it has a safety feature in there. Not a bad thing at all. Let's go 
go ahead and pull the battery off like this. times and I'm calling it quits. Look at that bit though man, that thing is all bent. Yeah. Alright. The heart is doing very well. It is that safety feature in there that's saving you right now. That that's a good thing that they put that in there. I would say the Milwaukee probably has the same feature in there. Um, but it has way more power. This one I think just has less power than Milwaukee, but it's still, I'd say a good buy. It's actually holding up and it does pretty well. Okay, so the heart did well. It has a safety feature in there that when it gets hot, it shuts off and does not turn back on unless you disconnect the battery and reset the computer in it. Well, there you have it. The heart survived. It did well. I'm impressed with it actually. It's not as good as the Milwaukee when it comes to the strength and quality, build of quality, but it definitely did good for half the price and for a product from Walmart. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.